Welcome to my uh, first video on uh, showing you how you can calculate a confidence interval for the mean of a population when the population standard deviation is given. This is uh, one of several videos I'll be doing showing you precisely and literally what you type on a spreadsheet to be able to find the uh, lower confidence limit and upper confidence limit, uh, the two sides of mu. So you have to find the left-hand side, which we call this up lower confidence level, and the right-hand side, which is called the upper confidence level. Sometimes I call this the left-hand side and I call this the right-hand side. Either way, you have to find the two sides of mu so you know what the actual population mean is within. Uh, I've picked up an example here for you. The U.S. Department of Ed is the first example on our lecture notes. Uh, collected sample data for 1,525 women, so your sample size is... 1,525 women. Uh, it says the sample had a mean cholesterol level of 191.7, so X bar, which it says is the sample, so X bar is 191.7. Obviously, that can't be mu because if it was mu, then why would we do this to begin with? So remember, every time they give you the sample mean in a problem in this chapter, it will definitely be the sample mean or if they give you a mean in general it's definitely the sample mean because you can't possibly have mu because if you had mu then you wouldn't do any of this the whole idea here is you're doing this because you don't know what the actual mean of the population is so you're doing this to estimate it that's why we call it calling this estimating the mean given sigma so the mean is 191 the sample mean is 191.7 your standard deviation it's this population standard deviation so it's sigma not s uh, so sigma is given, it's uh, 41. Uh, let's see, so I have my X bar, I have my sigma, I have my sample size. Now the only thing I need to figure out is the critical value, the Z value that I need to use here. Now it's asking me for a 98% confidence level, which means this area in the middle, the one minus alpha that I talked about a while ago, foreshadowed did a while ago, is 98%. So you've learned how to calculate the z-scores for the middle 98%. Remember, you do there are two ways to do it. Either you remember what it is, which uh, the z-score for uh, 98%, 0.98, is 2.325, or 2.33 if you round it to two decimal places. Uh, but let's see if you could actually, let's say you didn't remember that and you wanted to figure this out uh, using uh, commands in Excel. So if I give you the confidence level and you want to find the z-score, what you do is this, as if you recall, you take the confidence level, which in this case is 98%, you divide it by 2, so far so good. Then you add a half a unit to it, so plus 0 0.5, 0 0.99. Then you're going to use this value, the 0 0.99, which is when you divide the confidence level in half and then you add it to 0 0.5, you get the number you need to use to actually execute the command. So you come here and you type norm dot, it's always going to be S, and it's always going to be inverse in this chapter. So it says, what's the probability? 0.99 is the probability. So you can either click on it, or you can literally type 0.99, and I'll give it to you, 2.326. If you, again, if you round this to two decimal places, you get 2.33. So depending on how many, if I ask you for three decimal places, then you'll just use 2.326. If I ask you for two decimal places, you'll use 2.33. Let's go with three decimal places for these calculations. So therefore, the z-score here is 2.326. All right, so that's my critical value. Now I'm ready to find the lower confidence limit and the upper confidence limit. My lower confidence limit would be, and here's the formula, would be equal to x bar, which is that, minus the z-score, which is that, times sigma, that's the order in which you do it, so x bar minus z times sigma, sigma is that, and then you see divide by square root of parentheses n, but n is 1,525. So there is the left-hand side. Now, the right-hand side would be the same thing. Let's type it. You could copy-paste it, but it's better to just retype it so you can get used to it. So the upper control uh, confidence limit, uh, or the right-hand side, will be, again, x bar, which is that, this time plus uh, z alpha over 2, which is 2.326, times, again, sigma, <clears throat> divide by the square root of n. 
So you notice the commands are pretty much, you know, if you look at this command and you look at this command, it's pretty much the same. It's just that for the lower confidence limit, you subtract. For the upper confidence limit, you add. Just like here, the left-hand side is a minus, the right-hand side is a plus, but it's the same identical operations. So you kind of say, well, I may never know what the um, average cholesterol level is for all women in the United States ages 18 to 24. It could be like 100 million of them. But based on this 1,500 samples that I've collected, I am confident, I'm 98% confident that the actual mean, the actual average cholesterol level is between 189 and 194. And depending on how many decimal places I want you to use on the test, you'll say mu. I can't use uh, symbols here. Actually, I could use symbols. Let's see if I could insert a mu so you could actually see it, symbols. Oh yeah, I could enter it. So I could just so I could say mu, and let me put less than here, and on the other side I put greater than. All right, so I basically constructed uh, how it looks like if you actually wrote it with the form with a, with a pencil. So so mu, so it's greater than definitely it's going to be greater than 189. Let's say I'm asking you to round it to two decimal places, so it'll be 189. Point two six, and the upper class limit to the right hand side will be 194 point and if I say two decimal places will be one four so you basically say I may never know what the actual cholesterol level of all women ages 18 to 24 is uh, in the United States but I'm 98 percent confident that it's somewhere between 189 and 194 so you can imagine uh, how important this is uh, that should be a dot how important this is in uh, pharmaceutical computations or any other uh, agency that wants to make these calculations and don't want to spend you know years trying to do this so here's how you find the confidence level for the mean of a population or basically estimating the mu given sigma thank you